everyone. Leslie here. Today I want to talk about my two main mojo killers. The first one is when I come into my room here and want to create and the table is a mess of scrap papers from my previous tornado of creating and then I didn't clean up when I was done. Yeah, I do it to myself. And my other mojo killer is when I'm thinking of making a card or something and I have a mess like this. All kinds of scraps, all different sizes, big pieces, these pieces, little little pieces. And I think, I don't want to get in there and try and figure stuff out. I mean, it's all different colors. It's, it's just, it's not, in my opinion, creative inducing. As a matter of fact, I think when I come in here, then my mojo says, ah, see you later. And it leaves. Depending on the amount of space you have, this might be a little tricky. You might have to go take over the kitchen table. But just dump all your scrap stuff out. Oh. Hey, I forgot I had that. Okay. So, just... Oh, that's a trash. This one, I don't know. I'm going to set it aside. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. All right, there's a big piece. These are all fairly small. And there's another little one, trash. <clears throat> so now I've reduced my mess into two piles. Operation Write Home has a tutorial 101 using scraps and you'll get a list of measurements for your scraps, the sizes. And then what I do is I take a small post-it notebook and a Sharpie marker and then I just write on the post-it note the size I just trim off that part that's been cut out and there's not enough left on this piece down here to even bother with so I'm going to throw it away <clears throat> and I'm going to measure this. This is, this piece measures a little over two and a quarter by three. So I need to have a stack of two by three, so that's how I will cut this piece. This one is about two by five and a quarter so I will make this two by three and then this is alright now this is where I deviate I'm gonna make this two by two and I'm going to make a little note of two by two and I'm going to start a little pile. Okay, I have made a separate file, a separate thing for two by four. 
this musical note paper. I want to make that two by four. That way I still have a good piece, a good size piece of this. This then is the pile that I'm going to throw away. This is all what was cut off of this little stack of papers. Now these large pieces, well except for this one and maybe these few pieces, but these larger pieces I am going to make them, um, some of them will be six by six, F uh, what is it, four and a quarter by five, this is four and a half by twelve, so I'll cut this at ten, and then at five. So now I have two oh. four and a quarter four and a quarter by five and these will fit these will be a uh, what do you call it uh, the front, uh, a card front, start uh, work on a card front stash. I'll tell you what it'll be in a minute. This is what's left of the crazy stuff. Let's see, what is the, what are these? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I can do something with them. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to throw these away. Things that I generally don't do anything with are things like this. This is from Club Scrap. I could do something with it on the back, but there might be... I might want to use some of these pear shapes, so I'm not going to do anything with that. These Graphic 45 cars, I'm pretty sure I'll use that. This is from some Heidi Swap or Schwap or however you say it. And it's a couple of banners, and I'll cut those out and use them. This is another thing from Club Scrap, and I won't cut that up. It's a plain solid color on the back. This is from Graphic 45, uh, some kind of ABC primer or something. And I'm not going to cut that up. And this is something I was experimenting on with an embossing folder and have a very light impression in there. So I'm just going to keep this. So other than that, here are all of the different sizes of papers that I, oh, and I won't be cutting these up either. They're graphic 45 things. I'll leave them as they are. These cute little things. I'll just leave them as they are. <clears throat> but all that pile of scrap paper that was cut up into varying sizes, I have little stacks. So if you found this video helpful in making yourself fresh paper from your scraps, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, you can subscribe. I would appreciate it. I appreciate every one of you that come and visit me and see what I have to say. And so now, hey, now you've got paper that you can use to make your cards with, scrapbook layouts, stamp things on, use your punches, whatever. Now it's time for you to go show someone how special they are with the things you're going to create from all of your fabulous scraps. Until next time, bye!